Hey guys, today we are going to see uh, Selenium basic sessions. Like uh, this session is a night like uh, to tell you about what exactly Selenium is all about and what is the importance of the Selenium comparing to other testing tool available in the market and what advantage of the Selenium you will get uh, compared to other testing tools available in the market. Okay, so we start with the session. So this picture will tell you like uh, this is a comparison between UFT and the UFT is nothing but QTP. It's an updated version of the QTP. So UFT is nothing but unified functional testing and the Selenium. The features, the browser support. Browser support, UFT support this four browser but Selenium as you can see it supports uh, mostly all the browser present in the market like Chrome, Mozilla, IE, Safari, Android, even the Opera. And Phantom JS is also one of the like latest additional to these browsers. Language uh, UFT supports VB scripting. This is what the Microsoft product. Uh, that's why the VB scripting is the language it is supporting. This, uh, and contrast to that, Selenium supports Java, Perl, C++, C Sharp, PHP, Python, JS. Like mostly all the development language which are famous in the market. OS. Uh, QTP scripts or UFT scripts if we made can run only on the windows. Uh, contrast to that Selenium scripts can run on the Android, Mac, Linux and Windows as well. Okay. And best part of this is the license. License part UFT cost you around 7 plus lakhs. Okay. And Selenium in contrast to that is a free as it's open source. So these are the things like which make Selenium pretty easy to use if you see mostly your all the application coming in the market nowadays either android based or the web based so that's why i can say selenium is a have very good future in the coming days so uh, the same whatever advantage we have seen in the previous slide we see you know theoretically it's open source uh, as it, that's why it's a free same script can run on the multiple browsers like ie chrome safari Supports many OS like Windows, Messenger, Linux, Unix, as well as Android. So you can see like combination of like uh, browsers and uh, OS will be the many combination you can run with the same script. You can run on the many other combination of the OS and browsers. Selenium ka can work on the different language like .NET, C++, Java, Python. Can be used on the Android, iPhone, Blackberry, etc. based application testing. Supports very la very less CPU and RAM consumption for script execution. This is a very important point as compared to UFT. If you like run UFT scripts, your uh, uh, you won't able to do anything addition to that. So this is a contrast to the uh, like uh, UFT scripts. Comes with a different component to provide. Uh, support to its parent which is a selenium id selenium grid selenium remote control we are going to see all these things afterwards so evolution of the selenium so selenium the evolution of the selenium first thing first comes in the picture is selenium id then they move to the selenium rc or selenium rc is called as a remote control then come the web driver and currently which is latest in the evolution of the selenium is selenium grid so we'll see step by step what this is all about selenium id is a easy to use firefox plugin it's a generally way to develop uh, test cases it also contains context menu that allows you to first select the ui element from the browser's currently displayed page then select from the list of selenium commands with the parameters predefined according to the context of the selected ui element so this is a very basic thing with the selenium id i am sure like if you ever try to or uh, uh, learn the selenium you will able to do this thing so what people do like they just record the script in the id and play the script but uh, after that thing they won't able to go ahead uh, like they won't able to move the script to the uh, eclipse or the java java based uh, id or our development language so we are going to see that thing how to start with the eclipse or uh, eclipse with the java so next 
things come in the picture is remote control selenium rc servers injects a javascript program called selenium core into the browser but disadvantage of the rc was in the rc like uh, was rc was acting as a server so for if we try to run the script on the eclipse so eclipse first used to communicate to the rc and then rc used to communicate to the browser so rc always used to act as a middleman so due to which uh, it becomes very difficult to handle the things or there are many disadvantage of the rc so to overcome this dis uh, disadvantage what uh, like uh, selenium developer have done they have evol evolved web driver so simon stewart uh, created web driver in the 2006 web driver is a web automation framework that allows you to execute your tests against different browsers it control the browser from the os level in 2009 the whole selenium team decided to merge web driver and selenium rc to form a more powerful tool called the selenium 2 with the web driver being the core so this is a major change happen in the selenium evolution so due to which selenium become pretty famous so like due to these changes like selenium can work on the any os with the any browser combination then come with uh, in the picture is selenium grid with selenium grid you can stand up a simple infrastructure of various browsers on different os to not only distribute the test load but also give you diversity of the browser to work with so i will tell you in the one line or in the short like what exactly grid is like suppose you have five machines so one machine you can make as a hub hub is nothing but controller it will control the like if you want to run thousand test cases you can divide the our uh, test cases in the four part like 250 250 each so from hub you can run that 250 scripts on the different machines that uh, no machines will be called as a node so there will be one hub and four nodes so on the four nodes you will you can run the scripts with the selenium grid so instead of running 1000 test cases on the single machine it will uh, it can run the uh, machine in the uh, it will divide the 1000 uh, test cases in the four part and that can run on the different machines so that is what all about the selenium okay guys so please uh, if you like this session please uh, like the video or give the comment whatever you have uh thank you